I'm still a little bit hairy here. I would actually consider buying under VWAP. It had a similar action right here where it dipped below VWAP really fast. So I think that's worth watching. I just don't want to catch a falling knife, so I'm not buying it yet. Here we go, support coming in now. Going for the dip. Uh, dip was stronger than I expected. I'm out. Morning traders, welcome back. As you saw in that replay video, that was a nasty trade, but it was important to cut your losses like always, and that's what I did, so I was able to avoid really any major losses there. Plus it was small size, so in, in the end it didn't really matter, but you know, what the mistake I made today was I was doing things today that I usually never do. I was out of my wheelhouse, I was, I was trading setups that were just like C quality setups at best. And then the a, you know B and A quality setups came up, very few, but there was like a few good ones and I didn't really trade them. Actually, this one I didn't trade at all. This one I fumbled on. And I think I was just distracted today. I don't know if it was like boredom, revenge, or a combination of everything. I did really poor, poor trading today. And you'll see that actually in my stats. I did end of the day green. Luckily, the last ticker pumped me back the green, but you know, my win ratio here was just really poor. Usually it's, you know, my average is 67. My risk reward is, you know, totally fine. It's like well, close to one to one, so that's not really bad. I just couldn't really get in the flow on any ticker, and yeah, I just did a lot of poor trading today. And you could see with my running PL, I just, you know, nothing was working out this morning. And finally, I got a little bit of flow, uh, took that loss, and then, you know, got back in the green, but I was like, ugh, it's not that, that great. Um, I am happy though that I get to end the the month here green, or end the week green, which is pretty nice. Only last week was really, really sloppy for me. Um, this week, I just didn't really have a lot of opportunity, I felt like, to to really nail it. Uh, and today, I just did really bad trading. Oftentimes, Friday, I'm, I'm a little bit delirious. But this is a really good reminder to, you know, stick with what you're good at. And if, if you don't see it, don't trade it. And, you know, sometimes it really is best just to walk away and I think today would have been better as like a no trade day when I really realized there was nothing pumping up or just like, you know, take a big nap or like really walk away and then sit back for the market open. Um, because look at this nonsense. I missed this front side move here. I was doing something at the time. I get back and I'm like, oh, I think that I had a little bit of FOMO here. So I did a little bit of range trading. Basically, the five minute is still on a front side where you can see down here. This is a nice front side still. Uh, but we're stuck in a range. We're not making necessarily new highs. And the one minute is below the 9 EMA. So this one's below, this one's above the 9 EMA. And I'm basically kind of looking for a reversal. I'm trying to buy low and look for that pop back above. And then I, I basically threw in the towel right before it actually happened. That's a classic backside. This is why I don't trade backside or ranging anymore. And today I did it. Today I did it for the first time in like six weeks. Uh, so I, it, that threw me off. And then by the time the market opened, I, you know, clearly didn't have any trust more for a drug or I was annoyed or what have you. And I was kind of thinking about it, just, you know, mixed emotions. Plus, I was a little exhausted today. I could really feel I was a bit tired today. And then we had a big five minute breakout and one minute pullback, the best trade of the day. And I didn't trade it. So by doing nonsense, by not focusing on what I'm good at, pure front side, I basically missed the, the good front side opportunity. So shame on me for that. I did get a little bit of a pullback trade here, but I ended up cutting it before the real bounce, but I made a little bit of profit. And um, then, yeah, you could see this one. Now, a big reason I did go for this trade is because Drug has these extended pullbacks all the time. We've been seeing it again and again and again. So I felt like there was a little bit of warrantness, like <laughs> warrantness, I don't know if that's a word. I, I felt like I was somewhat warranted for, for trading this one. Like. I just did small size and and basically as soon as it didn't work i just cut out my goal was that you know maybe it's gonna pop back here then it popped right back up so it felt like there was buyers and my goal was that quick move now, and then the second the sellers took over again i stopped out and i was like okay that's fine um, either way we're dealing with small losses here now if i got stuck in that flush you know, it could have been like a 500 dollars lot loser and that would have felt pretty unnecessary so this was pretty risky for kind of no reason um and that's oftentimes what board trading will do. And that's why as embarrassing as this trade was, it was really embarrassing. Uh, 
I felt like I should make it that intro video or intro uh, replay because I felt like that was a really important one to share with you guys. Um, I did trade, uh, let's see here, five tickers today. And I think OLB, I really wanna quickly talk about this one. This is the ticker I traded much better on. I'm not sure if my trades will pop up at all, but yeah, here we go. Uh, and thanks uh, to Tom for calling this one out the, uh, in our community. So this one broke out right here at like 166. It was back, it was kind of like a flat top breakout. And this one on the replay, I definitely recommend you guys watching it, uh, watching it if you guys um, are watching my replays. I think this one's really good. I, I really walked through the whole entire trade right here. And basically what I'm doing is I was looking at it in this area and I was like, I gotta be careful here because this ticker had some aggressive pullbacks. So I'm not gonna start buying high here. I could have bought high here, which I would do if it was like a very strong ticker, stronger market, I would be buying a little bit higher, especially like on the second pullback. Those typically are a bit extended. And uh, if you wait for that 9 EMA pullback, you often don't get it. Um, so for this one, I was very hesitant. I was like, okay, let's wait here. Um, there's big resistance on the daily. So I had a low entry and it popped up. I took profits really fast. Um, same situation here, low entry, popped up, uh, took profits, low entry, popped up, took profits. And then I was like, Ugh, I'm, I'm probably done. Uh, again, very, very small size. It was new ticker. It's late on the day on Friday, late in the morning at least. And you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to gun it here. So um, I, I'd rather end the day green than red, but either way it was a scratch day no matter what because I was down 100 and now I'm like up 86 So it just feels like a total scratch day um, But I'm happy that you know I was able to manage my risk at least on drug every time a trade didn't work out every single one I just cut really quickly I mean this was literally like six losses or so in a row and I was down like a hundred bucks with all those losers So that's tiny 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 just wasn't working out. I didn't get the quick resolution. I was wanted Boom, I was out, that simple. Um, but really what I should have done was just not trade any of these tickers because none of these tickers are doing what I really wanna be doing. And if you guys wanna know more about my strategy, definitely watch this video here, I'll link it somewhere. It's basically my monthly, one of my monthly recaps where I go through my stats and just remove everything that's not working. And that was really critical to do. Um, uh, hide my swing trades. I got one, quant uh, one share of coin here. I'm gonna start building up my coin portfolio. I want to get like 200 shares of coin, maybe 300 in my IRA account, but that's a different story. Um, <clears throat> migrating it over from my non IRA account because I've, yeah, unused a lot of unused cash in my IRA. And I think this could be a good swing trade again, off topic. So let's go through these other tickers. We got MEGL. Um, yeah, wow. We had just so many failed tickers today. Just look at this disgusting move. Oh my God. It's like a perfect linear downwards. Wow. That is disgusting anyway I, my trades aren't popping up but i traded it here on this pullback i got in a little bit high cut my losses so what so be it um nothing was really that good bxrx this was bxr this was also quite an odd ticker look at that sell off too i again bought it high here uh, basically cut my losses bounced up and then continued selling off and i was like ugh, like no continuation for me um bbby i don't know i think i was I was just not in the flow today. This ticker, my ticker uh, tr trades aren't showing up also. I don't know what's going on with TOS uh, specifically today. It's extra bad. Um, I bought basically into this flush. I bought pretty low. I had a really good execution. It just barely bounced in very, very small percentage. And I had a pretty small um, position size. So after the initial bounce and it got rejected again, it slightly crawled up and I just sold. I wasn't ready for, you know, to get stuck in another flush. What could easily happen with BBBY because, you know, the daily is very, very rough on this one and with a lot of resistance here at 1150. Um, so I felt like that was a big rejection. I just didn't want to get stuck in that second flush, which actually did happen. My timing was a little bit off there, so I could have got a bit more of that bounce, but ultimately it was entering the backside. So yeah, that was my Friday, just very slow. I took a nap, I chilled, I, sh I should have slept longer. Um, and it, I felt like this Friday was all about like avoiding, you know, tripping over yourself, avoiding doing anything silly. And unfortunately I wasn't able to do that. I did a lot of silly stuff today and I'm a little bit ashamed of myself, but it was the first time I've slipped up in, you know, over a month and a half. And, uh, sometimes it happens. So I guess I learned my lesson again today, not to trade the range or the backside. <laughs> I don't know. Um, simple as that. All right, guys, I'll see you then first thing Monday morning. Like always, guys, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.